Hi Cover FX fan, my name is Julia Salvia and I am going to be showing you a little bit of contouring and highlighting today. Let's go. Before we jump into anything at all, I'm going to leave my social handles in the next snap, so get ready to screenshot it. I'm going to be answering all of your questions, so make sure to send them my way. So this is the Natural Finish Foundation. The color that I wear in almost all of Cover FX products is G40. And a little bit goes a long way, guys. Now we are going to jump right into the N Lights Contour Kit. So I use these three guys right here. This is N0, Moonlight, and N60. So I'm using the flat side, and I'm jumping right here. If you guys don't know where your contour line is, go like this. <laughs> so all I'm doing is pushing the contour color up, and then I'm bringing it on the side. And I'm also taking some underneath my chin because we don't want any of that. <laughs> so this brush is great to buff in foundation, but I really, really like it to buff in the contour. Just gonna move the brush around in little circles. So we've just got a really light contour going on right now. Now we're going to move on to just a little bit of a highlight. Going back into the N Light Contour Kit, I'm going to be taking a little bit of N0. So I'm applying this right underneath my eyes, but staying away from my lashes, and I'll tell you why. Hold on. So when I blend this out, it's going to blend out flawlessly. If I put it too close to my eye, it can crease. We don't Jumping back to the same beauty blender I used with the foundation, this is gonna help kind of bring all the colors together. Blend. Perfecto. I'm taking whatever's left on the mini beauty blender. It's my nose and my cupid bow and my chin. Highlighter. Moonlight is one of my favorite highlighters. I'm taking my ring finger. And putting my middle finger on the back of my ring finger to give it a little bit more of a steady hand. And I'm just blending it right here. Forget our cupid's bow and the tip of our nose and the bridge. Yay! Of course, we cannot forget to set everything. So we are taking the matte setting powder and we're going to set it. So I'm dipping the beauty blender in the powder. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually push this powder underneath my eyes. I'm not going to bake. I do get a bit oily in my T-zone, so I'm just going to take a little bit of that up here, bring it down, and right here. So if we want our contour to be nice and chiseled, I'm taking a little bit of powder, and I'm just cutting it. <laughs> So the Cover FX highlighters are extremely creamy, so you can use them on top of powder and make your highlight even more bomb. So I'm taking some more of Moonlight and I'm just dabbing it right on top. So we got a nice little glow. Oh, that's not little. That's a nice big glow. So I'm taking the other side of the contour brush And something I love to do to bring the whole look together is apply the same highlighter in my inner corner 
and my brow bone. So here is the final look. Look at that glow, boo. <laughs> Thanks guys for joining me on this really quick Snapchat takeover. I hope you learned a little bit more about highlighting and contouring with cover effects. If you guys tuned into this Snapchat takeover, go comment on Cover Effects' last picture on Instagram. Give me some flowers. And don't forget to come say hi to me on my Snapchat. I'll see you guys next time.